Donald Trump says he will close down the U.S. government if necessary to build his wall along the Mexico border. The president told supporters at a Make America Great Again rally in Phoenix, Arizona, that the opposition Democrats were being obstructionist. During the 80-minute speech, he also took aim at the media, blaming them for giving far-right groups a platform. But he selectively quoted his initial response to violence at a far-right rally that left one woman dead. He emitted the much-criticized claim that many sides had to shoulder the blame for violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. President Trump wants Congress to finance his controversial plan to build a big, beautiful wall along the United States border with Mexico to keep out illegal immigrants. But Republicans will need the support of Democrats to secure funding for the wall in a government spending bill, which they are unlikely to get. In his speech, Mr. Trump said the Democrats were putting all of America's safety at risk by opposing the wall. He said immigration officers who worked in the area said it was vital to stem the flow of illegal immigrants. He said that, if it came to it, he would risk a government shutdown, which is what happens when legislation funding the federal government cannot be passed by Congress and non-essential services stop. This will happen on the 1st of October if a bill cannot be agreed. Now the obstructionist Democrats would like us not to do it, but believe me if we have to close down our government, we are building that wall, Mr. Trump said, adding that the American people voted for immigration control. President Trump attacked the media in the campaign style speech, saying reporters had misrepresented his perfect words in the wake of the violence in Charlottesville, where Heather Hale was killed after a car plowed into a crowd of people protesting against far right demonstrators, including neo Nazis. He accused truly dishonest people in the media and the fake media of trying to take away our history and heritage because, he said, they don't like our country. He quoted his first public response to the violence on the 12th of August, which was criticized by both Republicans and Democrats for not explicitly condemning the far right. This is what I said on Saturday, we are closely following the terrible events unfolding in Charlottesville, Virginia, this is me speaking. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry and violence. That's me speaking on Saturday right after the event, he said. But his full quote was, We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry and violence on many sides. On many sides. Separately, the UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination has criticized the US for what it said was a failure at the highest political level to reject racist violent events. Referring to Charlottesville, the committee said it was issuing a rare early warning, which has been used in recent years in countries including Burundi, Iraq, Nigeria and the Ivory Coast. While Mr. Trump's comments were met with cheers inside the conference center, anti-Trump protesters who had gathered outside the rally clashed with police after the rally had finished. Police used pepper spray after the protesters threw bottles and rocks, reacting to the speech. The former National Intelligence Director James Clapper told CNN that he was questioning Donald Trump's fitness for office. I also am beginning to wonder about his motivation for it, he said, adding he found the rally downright scary and disturbing. Reuben Garlego, a Democratic Party congressman in Arizona, said it was was the worst ever speech by a U.S. president. It was all about him. It was not about the country, he told the BBC. President Trump did an amazing job tonight. His message is uniting our great nation, tweeted Ryan Fournier, the head of students for Trump. White nationalist Richard Spencer tweeted, Trump has never denounced the alt-right. Nor will he. Get news from the BBC in your inbox, each weekday morning.